Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. Nigeria, U.S. orders excluded from list of travelers permitted to enter Europe. Council lockdown imminent, says federal government. Federal government lifts ban on domestic travels and interstate travel. Details in just a little bit. Nigeria has been excluded from the list of countries whose travelers could be received into Europe when the borders reopen on July 1st. On ShengenVisaInfo.com, it was reported that the European Union Commission has released a list of 54 countries that qualify for travel into Europe as the Union opens its borders that were short to contain the spread of COVID-19. The Commission said that citizens of Brazil, Qatar, the US and Russia would only be able to enter Europe at a later date when the epidemical situation in these countries improve. The countries from which travelers are permitted to enter Europe are listed as Albania, Algeria, Andorra, Angola, Australia, Bahamas, Bhutan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as Canada. Others listed are China, Costa Rica, Cuba, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Dominican, Egypt, Ethiopia, Georgia, Guyana, India, Indonesia, Jamaica, Japan, Kazakhstan, Kosovo, Lebanon, and Mauritius. More countries include Monaco, Mongolia, Montenegro, Morocco, Mozambique, Myanmar, Namibia, New Zealand, Palau, Paraguay, Rwanda, St. Lucia, Serbia, South Korea, Tajikistan, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Uganda, Ukraine, Uruguay, Uzbekistan, Vatican City, Venezuela, Vietnam, and Zambia. The EU Commission spokesman Eric Mama said that the Union had the right to choose who would enter its borders. It further said the European Union has an internal process to determine from which countries it would be safe to accept travelers. It further added that the decision was based on health criteria. On June 11, the Commission presented its recommendation on the reopening of internal Schengen borders on June 15 so that Europeans could travel within the borders area freely just as they did pre-pandemic. This implies that any country outside the 54 countries listed would not be allowed to travel into Europe and that includes Nigeria. It also said the decision is based on the number of coronavirus cases in the countries which have been banned. With over 10 million cases of coronavirus around the world, Nigeria is currently on number 49 with 25,133 cases. And now to another story. The federal government has declared that domestic flight can now resume operation across the nation. Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, disclosed this at a briefing on Monday in Abuja. Mustafa, who is also the secretary to the state government of the Federation, said he was pleased to inform Nigerians that the president had carefully considered the fifth interim report of the PTF and has accordingly approved that the exception of some modifications to be expatriated upon as the phase two of the East lockdown has been extended. According to him, the extension will run from Tuesday, June 30th to July 27th, 2020. He also said the safe reopening of domestic aviation services has been approved by the government and will take effect as soon as it is practicable. In the same line, the federal government also lifted the ban on interstate travel effective from July 1, 2020. National Coordinator of the PTF, Dr. Sanya Liyo, also added that only 50% of passengers of the buses are allowed during the travel. It also added that 50% of the passengers will be allowed and compulsory use of face masks must be followed. The PTF also reaffirmed the continuation of the nationwide curfew between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., adding that travelers are not expected to be on the road during the period. To the final story for today, the PTF has also said that 60% of the COVID-19 cases have been traced to 18 local government areas in the country. The PTF said during the briefing on Monday that there was a possibility of locking down some of the local governments with high cases of coronavirus in the country. It said that 18 local governments had been earmarked out of the 774 local governments and the 18 local governments account for 60% of the coronavirus cases in the country. They however said that the state government and local authorities where the councils are located will administer the lockdown if need be. Guys, those are the stories we have for you today on Trending. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmouth TV before you go. See you soon.